bubble sort also acts on array first of all let's see what is bubble let's say we have got a is equal to 5 b is equal to 7 i want to shift this 7 value to a and this 5 value to b so if i write like a is equal to b i will lose the value in a they both will become 7 7 and then b is equal to a they both will be 7 then if i write b is equal to a i lose 7 it and then a is equal to b they both become 5 so what we do we use a temporary variable x x is equal to a a is equal to b b is equal to x this would actually swap values now the value of a would be 7 and value of b would be 5 and x would be 5 as well so this type of changing values is said to be bubble now it is not happening in just two variables let's say it is happening an array of several variables of se several values sorry all right this is second to third fourth fifth sixth position what we will do we will write like let's say is kaname to be sorted we will write to be sorted x is equal to to be sorted 1 to be sorted 1 is equal to to be sorted 2 and then to be sorted 2 is equal to x this is done but this is not done just like that first we have to check if this value is greater than this value only then so we be like If to be sorted one is less than, sorry, greater than to be sorted two, then and if If this one is greater than this one, only then we will swap them. Is it understood? Okay. But we have to keep check it from here until here. So this should be from 1 to 5. Why not 6? Because if we go for 6, then 6 will be compared with 7. So we have to just compare it with, uh, compare it till 5. So we will be like this if oh sorry for n is equal to 1 to 5 if to be sorted n is greater than to be sorted n plus 1 and this to be sorted 1 would become to be sorted n now this will be completed from this position until this position when it is one one is being checked with two 
so this check will go okay because to be sorted one is not greater than to be sorted two which is five but when the value of n will be two now if this means if to be sorted two which is five is greater than to be sorted n plus one which is three yes that's true so this five and two will be swapped so this five would become two and this two will become five and then the value of n will become three three will be checked with four which is five and ten if five is greater than ten no next ten the value will become four if 10 is greater than 1, yes. So these will be swapped. This would become 1 and this would become 10. And then the value is now n and the value of n is now 5. If 10 is greater than 8, if to be sorted 5 is greater than to be sorted 8, yes it is. So this would become 8 and this would become 10. So what you have observed, this is not yet sorted. Only the largest value has reached the bottom. Only the largest value has reached to the bottom. We have to redo this. How long? It depends. So we can do this like is found is equal to true while is found is equal to true what we do क्या बारिश बारिश हो रही है what we do we make this is found false inside the loop and if this thing happens we make found again true So this loop would go on until these swappings are happening. As soon as this swapping happens, this found becomes, is found becomes true. And if it is true, it would go on. Let's say I made it false at the start and this did not happen. It means every value in this array is at its position and in, in ascend, ascending order. If it is already in ascending order, this did not happen, false remains false, this loop will break out. All right. So one time it worked, it is true. This loop is completed, and while reaches out back to while, is found is equal to true. We go in, we make is found false, and then it again it starts. So 3 and 2 compare, 2 here, 3 there, then 3 and 5 compare, OK, then 5 and 1 compare, 1 comes up, 5 goes down, and then 5 and 8 compares, OK, and 8 and 10 compares, OK. And while, dobara am loop mein shuru karein. Okay? Because it is true. Now this time, it is checked again, 2 and 3 compared, OK, 3 and 1 compare, not OK. So 1 comes up, 3 goes down. Then 3 and 5, OK. Then 5 and 8, OK. Then 8 and 10, OK. But yet there was one swap. So it is found true. So it goes back. Again it starts. 1 and this become 2. One swap happened. This is true. So 1 and 2 swapped. 2 and 3, OK. 3 and 5, OK. 5 and 8, OK. 8 and 10, 10 OK. And while while is found is still true, so get in. Make it false. Again, 1 and 2, OK. 2 and 3, OK. 3 and 5, OK. 5 and 8, OK. 8 and 10, OK. 
no swap happened so is found remains false it never became true so end while when reaches out to while it says that while is found is equal to true it is no more true it is now false so it gets out of the loop so this is very simple this is called bubble sort okay so there might be several ways of bubble sort i show you all but this is the gist bubble sort questions mainly work around this is found thing because this makes the loop robust if the values are already in order this would not go for more than one time okay but if you have got two for next loops inside each other and they are checking it 6 into 6 times and it is already sorted this would be the wastage of time this is the same one we used was swap instead of is found here and because we did not use while we had to deck out uh, to get out of the loop this is another option like we just did doing the same actually this remains the same these four lines remain the same i told you that in every pass the largest value gets down to the bottom theek hai na few few of the loops are made this way that we do not check to the last end in every inner loop we just go uh to the last value minus 1 position last position minus 1 let's say if it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 next time when inner loop would work would would only work until 6 afterwards until 5 afterwards until 4 so those are other forms this is from the book
that's it there is no 